Hello, and welcome to Writing Momentum. I'm Christopher Maselli, and I'm here with my wife, Gina. And today, we're talking about how to start a productive writing day. What do you think about that, Gina? I think that's a really good topic, and I think it's so important because, man, how many times have <laughs> has it happened to others that your day just gets away from you, that you start have the best of intentions, and you get interruptions, you get emails, you get caught up in social media, you get all this stuff, and before you know it, your writing day is gone. Yeah, you really got to start your day right, I yeah. think, in order to finish it. That doesn't mean that if you don't start right, you can't get on track. But it's so much easier to get on track when you start the right way. And so what yeah. is the right way for you? For me, it absolutely starts with a morning routine. Yep. It starts with waking up and trying to motivate myself to get out of bed, get moving, get going, get all the kinks out and just start. So for me, a morning routine is huge. Yeah. Yeah. I always start with a morning routine. Also, I like to get up early. I like to get up before the rest of the house. And so I'll usually be up between 530 and six is the goal. I, I usually wake up naturally like that because I'll leave my window shade about halfway open. So I wake up from the natural sunlight. I like that a lot better than a, an alarm clock. And then when I get up, I'll brush my teeth. I'll throw water on my face. Learned that recently that helps wake you up and it certainly works great. I'll splash some cold water on my face and then I'll go out and I'll, a lot of people make coffee or tea. I make what's called amino lean. This is a product they yep. sell on Amazon. It's a, it's a kind of a health product, but it's like a powder. It's got vitamins in it, but it also has a little bit of caffeine in it. And so it's, I find it wakes me up. It's good for me. It's some of the other things aren't as good for you. This is good for me. And then I'll I'll go I'll have a little bit of quiet time. I'll do a little bit of stretching and just get my day started that way. It's a slow start for my day, but it puts me in the right headspace for when I want to start writing. Yeah. And I think for me, I also have a morning routine where I get up and I exercise. And for me, there's a certain amount of a sense of accomplishment oh, yeah. with getting my exercise done, with getting some of my quiet time done, having that time. There's that feeling that, okay, if the rest of the day goes haywire, I have at least done these things for myself. Mm -hmm. I also w have started using that amino lean. I think it's it's just nice. It tastes I fruity. Wondered. I thought, boy, this is going away quickly. Yeah, I only use <laughs> about a half We're scoop because I can't, I can't, I have to be careful with the caffeine, but... I do like that it works well for exercise as well. Yes, it does. It, it's really meant to go with exercise. So that mm -hmm. works for me. And um, my exercise routine, I change it up depending on what I feel. That's one thing that I learned from Atomic Habits about making your habits easy for yourself. And as you make them easier, you want to accomplish them. Mm -hmm. And I have definitely found that with exercise, I can't get too rigid or I start kind of feeling like the walls are closing in on me. So I wake up and ask myself, what do I want to do? Yep. Do I want to go for a walk? Do I want to do a HIIT workout? Do I want to do a stretching routine? Do I want to do Pilates? What do I want to do? And I, that's what I do for the day. And I switch it up based on how I feel, but it helps me still accomplish my goal, but still is fun and inter enjoyable. Yeah. So speaking of keeping things easy, we get a lot of things done during the day. We're very productive people. We do a lot of things, especially with writing and all that as we go through our day. And what a lot of people are surprised to find out when they talk to us is that we actually start by keeping things simple. We put on our to-dos for the day only three things each, don't we? Yeah, that was a productivity tip that I learned several years ago about how there should be three things that are your focus for the day. Mm -hmm. Now, we all have more that we can do with that. And I'm not saying that we don't do more. But I think for me, those three items are the things that if I accomplish those things, then I sense that I have had a productive day. That is the key to me is that, and this is why I like having three things is because if I have a to-do list of 15 things, which it's very easy to do that. If I have a to-do list of 15 things, chances are I'm not going to accomplish them all. And then what happens is that by the end of the day, I feel like I failed for the day. I didn't do everything I wanted to do. Yeah. And so this idea to me of having three things that I'm going to get done during the day it has been such a key motivator for me every time when I sit down to create them. And I like to take it even a little bit of a step further. And I have three things that I do each day and they're from different areas of my life. 
So I will have one thing that is what I call a needle mover. This is something that I do for writing momentum, for our home business, for our big scope of life, right? Where we want to go. For you, it might be writing your novel. It might be working on your website, right? Something for you and your business. Then I have one item that I do for a client, right? Because I have a lot of freelance work. And so I try to make sure that I help get one client's work done each day. That makes me feel more accomplished. If I try to do five things for clients, it's too much. Then I can't finish it all. So one thing, one thing for myself, one needle mover, one thing for a client. And then third, I like to do one errand. And this is just something I got to do, right? It might be, hey, I got to do the dishes. I've got to clean out a closet. I've got to do something else. Usually there's something that comes up. And I started adding that in because I felt like I wasn't getting all those little things that are always around us done. And so I started to say every day, okay, I'm going to have one of those little things that I just need to get done. And then by the end of the day, as long as I finish something for a client, some kind of a urine, and then something for myself or my business is that needle mover. Boy, do I feel like I got something done because those are all significant items. Even though they're small, they're significant. Yeah, and I I like to take, and I will keep a running list of things that I have to do, things that I, appointments I have to make or jobs that I need to complete or emails that I need to return and have all of those things. But I try to focus on just those three that I do. Now you break it up a little bit more than I do, but I'm a little more, I'm not in the office all day. I've right. got other appoint other commitments that I'm working with and that I'm fitting in. So some of my three a day include those things, include working with our kids on their homeschooling, include helping somebody with one of their projects or something. That's definitely time that I include as part of those three productive things or those three priorities every day. But it is amazing to me how just having that mindset that we are productive, will make all of life feel more manageable. And like you're, like you're moving ahead, like you are moving the needle, whatever that is. So definitely. And and different people often ask, how do you keep track of all this stuff? Right? What do you do? And I used to use a paper planner and, but because I'm almost always sitting in front of my computer almost all day long, I found that a paper planner was just a duplication of everything I was already keeping track of on my computer. Mm -hmm. So for me, that didn't work. For me, I like to have a list on my computer of what I'm working on. And I actually start my day with a virtual assistant who logs on with me. We use Slack to communicate. And she asks me, okay, what are you working on today? And I tell her what I'm working on. And then she makes sure she helps me block out time to work on those things. She'll set it as though I'm in meetings for those things, right? And she'll help me prioritize. And that really helps. I like to have a second look at what I'm doing. And uh, that has become a very affordable, nice way. It's just a five minute check in each morning, but that's been really good. But now you have a slightly different life because you're not in front of the computer all day. You're not just in front day. of it in different periods of time. And for you, you like using a paper planner. I do. Don't you? I brought you guys my planner to show you today. For those of you who are watching by YouTube, I use Plum Paper Planner because I love all the customization capabilities. Mm-hmm. It looks like a phone book. Look how thick that is. It's wow, thick. We. <laughs> and it's thick because partly because that's what I've chosen and the model that I have chosen. Does, does it show you a day at a time? For me, it shows me a week at a time. Okay. I don't really need a day at a time. I prefer kind of an overall what's happening this mm-hmm. week. And I like to be able to see the whole week at once so I can plan out my whole week. And I usually start on Sundays. I will take time and plan everything out for the week. And then I break it down each day. I remind myself of what I'm going to do and what I'm going to think about. Yeah. But again, I love the Plum Paper Planner and we will include a link in the show notes so for anyone who's interested. But I love that I could, for this one, this was 2022, I was able to put a picture of our family on the front look, of it. Look how much weight I've lost since then. You lost a serious <laughs> amount of weight if you guys are interested there. That's pretty But cool. those are our kids. And that was that's fun for me because they are, you guys, my family is my why. People talk about their whys. My family is my why. Did you so. track all your projects in there too? I track. Now, we have an online system. We yeah. use ClickUp to, to keep track of projects. 
And that has been very helpful because there's a lot of projects that you work on and I work on. I might start them, you might finish them and or vice versa. And that has been helpful there. So we have used ClickUp and you've So you you use your planner mostly for appointments and daily items, but you still go back to an electronic planner for your project management. For project management. Partly because that's what I'm using. And so for us to do things together, we have to have some place that we both get together. Because what we were finding is that we were, I would write something and I'd send it to you for you to look at five texts later because we text (laughs) each other throughout the day. It was like, you sent me something. I don't know what you sent me. And so this was a way for us to keep track of it and keep it all in one place. You can start a, your productivity by going through your emails or going through messages you get. But we discovered that the busier we got, the less that works. You can't really live and use your email as your to-do list. And that's where most of us live. We do. We use our emails as our to-do list, but we shouldn't. We need to transfer that to something where we can say, okay, this now allows me to complete things and make sure I don't forget anything. It lets me see things in order. And so that's essentially what we've done through the different systems that we've put together. Yes. And that what the need that we have is that we do have so many clients. Also, as our business is growing, we need to keep track of the different aspects of the business that we are doing for one another or that we are doing together. And for us, thinking about social media, thinking about the podcast, Mm. thinking about our website, thinking about our newsletters, thinking about our writing moments, thinking about these different arms of our business that we have, we just needed help keeping track of them. So ClickUp became the way to do that. Everything has to be organized. Uh, We like ClickUp because ClickUp allows us to put all those items that Gina just mentioned in one place. We were keeping some in Trello, some in a spreadsheet, some elsewhere, and ClickUp allows you to create all those things in one place. It is a little difficult to use, so I wouldn't necessarily start with ClickUp. Maybe start with something like Trello that's very simple, but then move yourself up to ClickUp as you need. Now, I will tell you, if you've enjoyed hearing about our productive days and how we start making our days productive. I love hearing this stuff from people. So I hope you do too. But if you want to learn more about productivity for authors, we have a training course that is one of our best courses from 2022 that we teach is called Productivity Secrets to 10 Times Your Writing Momentum. You can get that as well as three other trainings, one on how to build awesome author websites, one on writing for the inspirational market, and one on building the entertainment value in your fiction. You can get those all in a bundle. So it's four trainings in a bundle. They're normally $27 a piece. You can get them over the next week for $47 for all of them. If you go to writingmomentum.com, click on courses. It's the first one you'll see there. And uh, it's going to go away in a week. We're going to do all the Black Friday deals we're doing, but we want to let you know about it if you haven't received that in our email newsletter, if you just listen to our podcast. Yeah, we hope you do sign up for our newsletter. We do try to include tips and tricks and things that we've learned and just more information to help writers succeed. That really is our heart in everything we do. And we also, for those of you who are looking for people to write with you, check out Writing Moments at writingmoments.com. We would love to have you there. It's a fairly small group right now, so we're really able to get to know people. And we have people who are more advanced. We have people who are beginning. And it's just nice to get together and we write together, but we also learn together and encourage one another. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please rate, review, subscribe, and share this with someone that you know and that you think that will benefit from this. And until next time, we hope that together we will continue to have writing momentum. Bye-bye.